The Chicago Bears add more depth to the running back room and the special teams room by drafting Khalil Herbert running back out of Virginia Tech with the 217th pick in the 2021 NFL Draft. What's up guys, I'm back with the Chicago Bears draft update videos for the 2021 NFL Draft. It's been a great draft so far and I'm here to break down all the picks for you guys today. And yeah, so we drafted Khalil Herbert with the sixth, uh, or sorry, in the sixth round. Uh, we actually traded back to get him. So we had the 208th pick. We traded back with the Seahawks to acquire pick number 217 and pick number 250 as well. And with pick number 217, we drafted Khalil Herbert, the running back. And I'll be honest, guys, at first, I was kind of very iffy about this pick. I was like, why are you drafting another running back? Okay, we already have two great ones on the roster. We already have David Montgomery, who was top five in rushing yards. Last year, you already have Tariq Cohen, who's coming back from injury, who has had some fantastic seasons here. Already as a number two back, you already signed running back Damian Williams from the Chiefs this offseason in free agency. Uh, the guy that had a fantastic Super Bowl two years ago. So he's a decent third back as well. So you already have a very good running back room in my opinion. So I may have preferred they went to a different position here like cornerback or receiver, which they did attack later on. So I guess it doesn't matter that much, but it is still kind of intriguing to me. But this guy, honestly, when you look at what he provides for the Bears, he was probably the best player available on their board okay because this guy honestly should have probably went a little bit earlier in the draft with you know what his production was in college okay he was actually a five-year starter in college last season he transferred to virginia tech from kansas and at virginia tech he racked up 1183 rushing yards 7.6 yards per carry and also had eight touchdowns and if you look at his receiving stats he also caught 10 balls for 179 yards and he touched down as well but one other thing that really does you know kind of it, it kind of explains why Ryan Pace actually got this guy. He's also very valuable as a kick returner, okay? Last year, he had 16 really good kick returns uh, with an average of 26.9 yards per kick return. Obviously, we got rid of Cordero Patterson this offseason, so we needed a replacement, a kick returner, and this guy very well could be it, okay? He has the change of direction, that burst and speed, um, very good vision on the field, especially when returning kicks that could make him a good kick returner at the next level okay so even if he doesn't contribute much as a you know as a running back next year if he's our starting kick returner and has a decent amount of success you know this could prove to be an actual good pick by Ryan Pace and if god forbid we do have injuries to a running back room this guy would actually be phenomenal depth for us because I really feel like he could be a good running back in the NFL in my opinion running backs don't really matter as much because if you have the offensive line you can pretty much make the majority of running backs in the NFL look good, but there's also certain backs in this league that do have speed, that do do have the agility, you know, the change of direction, the acceleration that makes it easier for them to succeed. And Khalil Herbert, man, he does have all those traits, okay? He ran a 4.46 40 yard dash, so he does have a lot of speed. If you look at his power as well, he does run with decent power. He's not the, you know, bulldozing trucking guy that a guy like Derrick Henry is, but he does have decent enough power where he can get some yards after contact. He has great balance and he's only fumbled actually two times in his entire career, okay, in 500 touches. So ball security is not an issue at all with this guy, which should also help on, you know, special teams as well, okay? Returning kicks, he's most likely not going to fumble. So that's pretty good. And also, you know, if he does carve out a role in this running back rotation, he would be perfect to run inside zone. Okay, in college, he ran in his zone base scheme and the Bears running inside and outside zone as well. I mean, they didn't have the most success doing that in 2019. Obviously, last year in 2020, near the end of that season, David Montgomery did have a lot more success on those zone plays. But I feel like a guy like Khalil Herbert, he does have some of the similar, you know, patience and vision that David Montgomery has, but he's definitely faster and has more burst as well. Now, I'm not trying to say he's going to steal David Montgomery's job because I don't think that's happening anytime soon. But if Monty somehow gets injured, you know, this guy could be a good replacement back for him, okay, as a number one back. Because I do think he has some of the same traits and abilities that David Montgomery does have. So to get this guy in the sixth round, you know, I'm not the most mad about it. I still kind of wish we went after a different position because I feel like running backs don't matter as much and we already have some great ones. But hey, I'm not going to complain about getting a talented guy like this, especially if he can be our kick returner as well. So let me know what you guys think about this pick in the comments down below. But as always, bear down. <laughs>